everybody. Let me tell you what I got going on right now. I just saw a Craigslist ad selling a 72 Corvette for $3,500. Yeah, I said $3,500. <laughs> I called the guy up on the phone and he said the car is complete and it's not wrecked. Said he posted the ad about an hour ago and he already has a ton of callers. He says he's got somebody on their way over right now to take a look at it, but he's not holding it for anybody and he's not taking a deposit. He said the first person that shows him $3,500 in cash is going to own it. So I got my tow dolly and I got the cash, but I'm running out of time. Lucky for me, the car is in Beverly Hills, which is only 16 miles away. So if I hurry up and leave right now, there's a chance I could be the first guy to take a look at this car. Because at $3,500, the first guy that sees this car is gonna buy this car. And I want that guy to be me, so I gotta go. Yeah, look, I'm car shopping in Beverly Hills. Yeah, I do this all the time. Hello? Yeah, hey, Daniel. It's Sean. I'm at your front gate. Yeah, drive around back. Around the back? Through the alley. Okay, got it. Coming around. There it is. Either I'm the first guy here, or this car's a major POS. Let's hope I'm the first guy here. Hey, you must be Daniel. You must be Sean. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. Yeah, it's my dad's car. I don't know much about it. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, go ahead, feel free to check it out. Looks like a pretty solid car. It is. Yeah, can I? Here it is. Check this car out. I took one walk around this car, pulled the cash out of my pocket, and told the guy, I'll take it. He's in the house right now getting the title for the thing. This car is like five times better than I thought it was going to be. At 35, at 3500 I was expecting a disaster. This car is nice. I mean, yeah, the paint is about as ugly as sin, but once you get past the ugly, this car really looks nice. The body is super straight. The frame, the frame is perfect. California, no rust, no repairs. It looks awesome. The interior, pretty nice. The seats are really nice. Carpet's not bad. No door panels. The door panels are in there. Eh, you know, there's a few things missing, but it's pretty much all there. So the car doesn't run right now. Everything's there, but I guess they said they had carburetor issues about seven or eight years ago and just parked it. The guy is actually selling it for his father and that's all he knows about the car. And it looks like at one time they blinged out underneath the hood here because they have flame engraved valve covers and matching air cleaner. But it looks like it was done quite a while ago. And aside from the air conditioning compressor and the ignition shielding, it looks quite complete. At this price, I'd pay double what the guy's asking for this car if it didn't have a motor. So anything under the hood looks really good to me. Yeah, looks good. 
you know, the 72 is supposed to have the amber lights in the front. Looks like someone might have put in some uh, clear lenses, which was the earlier model. Not a big deal at all. Yeah, the interior looks good in this. Actually, it's missing, you know, there's a few little missing parts in here, but overall, it's there. The door panels are right in here. Some extra parts. The shifter panel is here. All the gauges look really good. Yeah, it even shows 64,000 miles. That's probably over 100,000 with an old car like this. But the dash looks good. All the gauges look original. The radio, the console, it all looks really quite good. Except this. The 72 is not supposed to have the fiber optic light monitoring system. You know, maybe somebody put this in. So the front light lenses were the wrong year for this car. And the fiber optic light monitoring system is wrong for this car. Is this car a 72? This car is a 71. He advertised this car as a 72. If he comes out with a 72 title for a 71 car, that's a problem. I've got the paperwork. There he is. Oh, hey. So, you advertise this car as a 72? Does the title say 72? Yeah, I think so. Here, check it out. Oh, yeah, it's a 71. Really? Oh, yeah, the car is a 71. I just want to check the VIN to make sure. Yeah, good idea. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. You get yourself a deal. All right. Yeah, let me count you the cash. Yeah, yeah, I gotta like that. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna be yeah, five minutes here. I already brought a spare and a jack with me, so I'm just gonna pop the spare on and winch it up onto my tow dolly, and I'll be out of here. Okay. Spare tire on, winch is connected. I take it out of gear. I'll be out of here in one more minute. in neutral. <sighs> well, stuck. The rear wheels are stuck. <sighs> the rear wheels are stuck, but you can tell it's not the brakes, otherwise it wouldn't move at all. It's moving just a little bit, which means it's either transmission or differential but it's definitely not the brakes probably the transmission i guess i bought a turd damn it's gonna take a little more than five minutes so it looks like what i'm gonna have to do is somehow drag it out into the alley and then get the tow dolly from behind and tow it home in reverse because uh, there's just not enough room in here to turn this car around so just gonna have to drag it into the alley, which I can leave my jack under the back and just pull it out.
She is loaded up and she is mine. I am the proud new owner of this 1971 Corvette. Yes, I raced over here and beat everybody to score this absolute killer deal. I came and I conquered. Now I'm gonna take my victory lap, which is just gonna be the ride home, but it's still gonna be my victory lap. Yeah. Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Woo! What roses for me? <laughs> Problem. Oh man. Alright, I kind of figured it was a transmission. So here's what happened. Someone put a new shifter in this and didn't adjust it properly, and the car was stuck in reverse. So what I did was I loosened it and took it out of reverse. So now it's a neutral and it should roll pretty good. So this doesn't mean the transmission's gonna be perfect, but there's a damn good chance of it being good now that I found out that it's only the shifter. So good news for me. I'm gonna get this car in and uh, have another look. Man, it looks good under this car. I'm looking for hidden demons, and surprisingly, I'm not finding any. All original, no body damage. You can look inside the fenders and see that there's never been any damage on this car, ever. Really looks good. You would think that an old Corvette like this that I got for $3,500 would have a few hidden issues. But no, this car looks nice and original under here. I mean, you could tell it's always been a California car because the frame has absolutely no rust on it. And there's been no repairs on the frame either. No, no damage, no repairs, no welding. It all looks nice and original. In fact, I can see inside all the fenders that this car's never been in an accident either. Uh, that's the thing about these old Corvettes. You can look on the inside of the fenders and you can see everything in here to see if they've ever had any damage. And I've had enough of these to know that this is all original. This has never had any damage the rear quarters are all original. All the panels on this car are original, except for the hood. All the panels are original and never been in an accident. I can't believe a Corvette over 50 years old has never been in an accident. I'm beginning to question the sanity of the guy that sold me this car. Because I can't find a logical reason why someone would sell me this car for so cheap. Maybe this motor is absolute garbage. Well, we're gonna find out soon enough because today is the day that I'm gonna fire this motor up or at least attempt to. The only history I got with this car was that about seven or eight years ago, the carburetor messed up and the car wasn't running right. So the guy just parked it and hasn't started it since. It even said in the Craigslist ad when I bought this car, needs carburetor rebuilding. So the first thing I'm gonna do 
is rebuild the carburetor. This is a real common aftermarket carburetor, so it's really easy and cheap to get a rebuild kit for it. Let me tell you something, this was a really dirty carburetor. And the reason it was so dirty is because they were running this car without a fuel filter. So all the dirt that was in the gas tank got pumped right into the carburetor. And what the problem is, when you get dirt in the carburetor, the valve can't work properly. See, this is the old seat and needle valve, and this little valve regulates the flow of fuel that's getting pumped into the carburetor. And if dirt gets under this valve, and it can't stop the flow of fuel coming in, it'll flood the float bowls and it'll just dump fuel down the intake and kill the motor. So the probable cause of this motor not running was probably a $5 fuel filter. At least that's what I'm hoping. Anyway, I'm gonna put on this carburetor and a new filter and see what we got. Looks like at one point somebody spent a little money under this hood with the chrome power brake booster, chrome master cylinder, the polished intake manifold, and these flame engraved aluminum valve covers. They seem like they cared for it. I just hope they cared as much for the inside of the motor as they did for the outside of the motor and weren't compensating for poor performance by dolling up a dog of a motor. The old uh, all show and no go. I prefer a little more go than show on this one. The fact that they didn't splurge for a $5 fuel filter, I'm not gonna lie, it's got me a little worried. All right, all right, everything's hooked up. New fuel filter in place, filled with fuel. I'm gonna bypass the gas tank because whatever fluid's in that tank, I do not want in this clean carburetor. And it is nasty in that gas tank. There's old fuel, condensation, rust, and a ton of dirt. I already ordered up a new gas tank and fuel sending unit because it's just not even cleanable. It's that nasty and it's rusty and it's just nasty. So for now, I'm gonna use this uh, safety certified auxiliary tank that I'm just gonna put right here that I tapped in to the fuel pump safety first i'm going to strap it down just extra safety stuff you know. and just want to get this thing fired up and test it out so this would be enough gas to get a rocket one more shot of fluid and gonna get her give her a little test not hearing a lot of spark wonder if I got spark. Nah. Okay, so I'm not getting any spark. So looks like I'm probably going to need to put a set of points in this thing. All right. I'm getting fuel, but I'm not getting spark. I figure it's the points. I was going to change them anyway. That's the use of the culprit with these old distributors. You got to change the points. I always have a set of points laying around. So I'm gonna change the points, put it back together, set the dwell, and then set the timing. It's never easy. So it's fighting me a little bit, but I'm gonna get her fired up. Killing me. All right. All right, one more time. Let's give her a try here. Come on now. We gotta give her a little. A little choke. I'll give her a little choke in there. 
Try that again. Fired up, not sounding too good just yet. Um, that's not good so far. Um, okay, I gotta get out of here and uh, go do some breathing and uh, figure out uh, what's going on with this thing. That did not sound good and it doesn't look too good in here. Okay, I gotta go. That initial startup. Didn't go so well. In fact, it went horrible. Very discouraging to be honest with you. But I haven't given up on this motor. I still think it's spark related. I changed the points, the cap, the rotor, the wires all look good. The spark plugs are like new. So I got another coil for it. I'm gonna see if it's the coil, because this coil looks terrible. In fact, it's even a little bulbousy at the bottom. When they start going bad, they kind of expand. There's a new coil, and there's the wobbler. It was working, but uh, hopefully that was the issue. So I'm gonna pop in this new coil, and I'm gonna see if this will give it a little more life. Let's hope so. All right, one more time. Okay, are we ready? Oh yeah, come on, baby. One more time. the floor but it moves I gotta go for a test run oh yeah yeah the brakes are terrible they're like right to the floor but there's just enough to slow me down Plus, I got an emergency brake anyway Surprisingly, this car goes pretty straight down the road. 
it feels good. It's actually kind of tight, believe it or not. I thought this car, by the looks of it, would go down the road all crazy, but it's actually pretty decent. Now, I can't go crazy because I haven't got a lot of brakes and I got a really sketchy gas can up here. All right. Okay. Let's take this thing through the gears. Okay, first gear. Good. Second gear, good. Third gear, good. Fourth gear, good. Oh, sh Car died. Oh, man. It's stalled. Oh, man. Oh. You gotta admit, that test drive went pretty damn good. Now remember, this is a $3,500 car that hasn't been on the road in about eight years. And I wasn't even able to see what the car was capable of without running a proper gas tank. That little weenie auxiliary tank, I don't know if that was government safety certified or not. I wanna see if I can smoke the tires off this thing. I'm eager to get it back on the road. So my friends over at Corvette Pacifica rush me over a new tank and fuel sending unit. They have tons of quality parts. I get all my Corvette parts from Corvette Pacifica. You should too. That's these guys. Hey, mention my name, Sean, and they'll give you an extra 10% off your order. Huh? Don't say I don't hook you guys up. Yeah, that's right. Shouldn't I have put a seal here? Oh man, I'm a professional. If I'm gonna attempt to break any land speed records with this car, I better make sure I have good brakes because right now they are weak. And there's the reason why. That's brake fluid and it's leaking real bad from the caliper. Now that is wet. That is wet, that's dry, that is wet, and it is leaking. This body lasted over 50 years without getting all banged up. I don't wanna be the first guy that bangs his virgin body. Wait, that didn't sound right. Did I just say that? <laughs> At some point, I'm gonna rebuild all the brake calipers, but for right now, I'm just gonna swap this one caliper out for a good used one. Corvette used the same brake caliper from 1965 all the way up to 1982. So the chances of me having a good used caliper that doesn't leak is pretty good. The fact that I have a Corvette junkyard means that I probably have about a dozen of these. Uh, yeah. All right, good use caliper is on and hooked up. All I gotta do is bleed these brakes and then I can take this thing for a real test drive. And usually bleeding brakes is a two man job. I gotta find somebody to help me out. All right, you ready? Okay, pump it. Now hold her down. Okay, pump it. Sean, you're really good at this. Now, now hold her down. Thank you very much. You're pretty good yourself. Now pump it. Are you a professional car builder? Now hold her down. 
No, but I play one on TV. All right, we are done here. Yeah, we have breaks now. And yes, as a matter of fact, I do talk to myself. <laughs> Now comes the real test drive. I'm gonna get a little wind blowing in my hair. Ugh. There we go. Tons of power, handles pretty good down the road. Hey, and the brakes even work now. Now we're talking. saw me buy a cheap left for dead non-running Corvette that ended up being an absolute tire smoking machine without having to do a whole lot of work to it. Yeah, carburetor rebuild, ignition coil, fuel tank, brake caliper, easy stuff. Now it's time to do some real work. When you come back, we're going to paint this car. And when I say we, I pretty much mean me, but you can help by leaving a suggestion in the comments as to what color you think I should paint this car. Because as of right now, I have no idea what I want to do with this car. I mean, it's a blank canvas with a black interior. So any color goes with it. Originally, this car was code 987, which is Ontario Orange Metallic. Pretty cool color. And then somebody painted it red. And then now it's this white primer looking ugly color right now and it's really ugly so we need to pretty this car up so shoot me a suggestion and hey if you like the video subscribe would it kill you to subscribe i mean it's free now it's time for me to go on my smoke break tire smoking that is 